the tranquil landscape of Aegis, a human colony nestled on the fertile plains of an alien world, was disrupted by an urgent alarm that echoed through the air. Captain James Harrington, a retired British war hero turned farmer, paused from his work in the fields. The sharp, insistent tones of the emergency signal filled him with a sense of dread he hadn't felt since his days on the battlefield. James looked out towards the horizon, where the sky met the rolling hills, and saw a plume of smoke rising. He knew what it meant. The colony's only advanced outpost had fallen silent moments before, its distress signal cutting off abruptly. The alien armada was near, and the quiet life he had grown to love was under immediate threat. Captain Harrington, we need you. Samantha Rivera's voice crackled over his personal communicator. As the leader of the colony, her tone carried both authority and a desperate plea. The outpost has been destroyed. You're the only one with the experience to lead us through this. James felt a pang of resistance. He had left that life behind, seeking peace after years of conflict. But the reality of the situation pulled him back into a mindset he thought he'd abandoned. He couldn't ignore the call to protect his home and the people who depended on him. I'm on my way, he replied, his voice steady. He retrieved a dusty uniform from his closet, one he had hoped never to wear again, and headed to the command center. Upon arrival, the atmosphere was tense. Colonists hurried to and fro, their faces a mixture of fear and determination. Lieutenant Ryan Cole, his former second-in-command, greeted him with a grim nod. Good to see you, Captain, Ryan said. We have little time. The alien armada is advancing rapidly. If they break through, Aegis is finished. James nodded, his mind already racing through tactical scenarios. What do we have in terms of defense? Samantha stepped forward, her expression resolute. We have a hidden arsenal of warships, advanced models that can give us a fighting chance. But we need a leader to command them. James scanned the room seeing the hopeful yet anxious faces of the colonists. He had no choice. I'll lead the defense, he declared. But we need every able-bodied person ready to fight. The room buzzed with activity as James and Ryan quickly assembled a team. They went over the plans, distributed roles, and prepared for the impending battle. Amid the preparations, an unexpected visitor arrived. Zarnak, an alien defector, approached with caution. I can help you, Zarnak said, his voice tinged with urgency. I know their strategies and weaknesses. I can provide you with the information you need to turn the tide. Skepticism rippled through the crowd, but James saw the truth in Zarnak's eyes. All right, he said. We'll take any advantage we can get. Ryan, work with Zarnak and gather all the intel you can. As the day turned into night, the colonists transformed the quiet settlement into a fortified stronghold. James watched the horizon, the weight of leadership settling heavily on his shoulders once more. The stars began to appear, twinkling like silent witnesses to the struggle about to unfold. We're ready, Captain, Ryan reported, standing beside James. The warships are prepped, and the defenses are in place. James nodded, his resolve hardening. Then we hold the line. We fight for our home and our future. The night was pierced by the distant hum of the approaching alien fleet. The colonists took their positions, each one aware of the significance of the coming hours. James climbed into the cockpit of the lead warship, his mind focused and clear. As the first alien ships emerged from the darkness, James's voice rang out over the comms. This is Captain Harrington. Engage the enemy and protect Aegis. For humanity, the battle began with a furious exchange of fire, the skies above Aegis lighting up with the glow of weapons and explosions. James maneuvered his warship with precision, every move calculated to counter the alien tactics. In the midst of the chaos, James spotted a vulnerable point in the enemy formation. All units, concentrate fire on the central ship. We break their line here. The coordinated attack was successful causing a critical breach in the alien ranks. The tide began to turn in their favor, but the victory was not yet assured. James knew this was just the beginning of a long struggle. As dawn broke, the remaining alien ships retreated,
but the threat was far from over. The colonists had won the first battle, but the war was just starting. James stood on the battlefield, his resolve strengthened by the courage he had seen in his people. We've bought ourselves time, he said to Samantha and Ryan, who stood by his side, but we must prepare for their return. This is far from over. Hashtag, 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 chapter two. Crossing the threshold. James Harrington stood on the bridge of the lead warship, the weight of responsibility pressing down on him. The colony had transformed overnight, and now it was a fortress preparing for war. He scanned the screens, showing the warships ready and waiting for his command. Captain, all systems are operational. The fleet is at your disposal. Lieutenant Ryan Cole reported, his voice steady but carrying an undercurrent of urgency. James nodded, turning to face his crew. Today, we stand together to protect our home. Trust in each other and in our preparations. We can and will hold the line. Samantha Rivera entered the bridge, her expression resolute. We have confirmation that the enemy fleet is approaching. Zarnak has provided us with detailed schematics of their ships. We have a chance, but it won't be easy. James appreciated Samantha's straightforwardness. He turned to Zarnak, who stood silently at the back of the room. Zarnak, are you certain of the weaknesses you've outlined? Zarnak stepped forward, his eyes meeting James's. Yes, Captain. The central reactors of their warships are vulnerable. A direct hit there could disable them. James studied the alien, sensing the sincerity in his words. All right, let's move. Lieutenant, relay the battle plan to all units. We engage the enemy at the perimeter and focus our fire on their reactors. The fleet moved into formation, the warships gliding silently into the designated positions. James could feel the anticipation building among the crew. He activated the fleet-wide communication channel. This is Captain Harrington. Remember, we fight not just for ourselves, but for everyone on Aegis. Stay sharp and execute your orders. Harrington out. As the first alien ships emerged from the void, the battle commenced. The warships engaged with precision, following James's strategies. Explosions lit up the darkness as both sides exchanged heavy fire. James maneuvered his ship skillfully, directing his crew with calm authority. Enemy ship at two o'clock, targeting our starboard side. Ryan called out. Evasive maneuvers, James ordered. Prepare to return fire on my mark. The ship veered sharply, dodging the incoming barrage. James waited for the right moment. Now fire! A volley of missiles launched, striking the enemy ship's reactor. It exploded in a burst of light, confirming Zarnak's intel. Cheers erupted on the bridge, but James remained focused. Good work, but we're not done yet, he reminded them. Maintain formation and keep targeting those reactors. The battle raged on, with the human fleet gradually gaining the upper hand. Zarnak's information proved invaluable allowing them to exploit the enemy's weaknesses effectively. However, the alien fleet was vast, and their counterattacks were relentless. As the battle reached its peak, James spotted a massive enemy flagship advancing toward them. Its firepower was overwhelming, and it was targeting their command ship. All units, concentrate fire on the flagship. We need to bring it down. The human ships coordinated their attack, focusing all their firepower on the flagship. It was a formidable opponent, but they pressed on, determined to protect their home. The flagship's shields flickered under the sustained barrage, and James saw an opportunity. Lieutenant, prepare the railgun. Target the flagship's reactor, James commanded. Ryan nodded, working swiftly. Railgun charged and ready, Captain. Fire! The railgun discharged with a blinding flash, striking the enemy flagship directly. The reactor core detonated, tearing the ship apart. The remaining alien ships, seeing their flagship destroyed, began to retreat. A collective sigh of relief filled the bridge, but James knew their victory was only temporary. He turned to his crew, pride evident in his voice. We did it, but we must stay vigilant. They will return, and we need to be ready. The battle had ended, but the war was far from over. As the crew celebrated their hard-fought victory, 
James and Samantha discussed their next steps. They needed to fortify their defenses and prepare for the inevitable return of the alien armada. We've shown them we're not easy prey, Samantha said, a determined glint in her eyes. But we need to use this time to strengthen our position. James agreed, his mind already planning the next phase of their defense. We'll make the necessary upgrades and train every able-bodied person. We'll turn this colony into an impenetrable fortress. As they worked late into the night, the sense of unity and purpose among the colonists grew stronger. They had faced the enemy and emerged victorious, but the fight for their survival had only just begun. The aftermath of the initial victory left the colonists both relieved and apprehensive. James Harrington, now firmly in command, knew they had only won a temporary reprieve. The alien threat loomed larger, and he had to ensure Aegis was ready for the next encounter. The colony's war room was a hive of activity. Holographic displays projected tactical data, and communication channels buzzed with updates. James stood at the center, his presence commanding and focused. Samantha Rivera, always by his side, coordinated the efforts of the various teams. We need to fortify our defenses and expand our intelligence network, James said, his voice steady. Ryan, how are the new recruits progressing? Lieutenant Ryan Cole, despite his injuries, managed a determined smile. They're adapting quickly, Captain. The drills are rigorous, but they're up to the challenge. We've also integrated the advanced weaponry you approved. James nodded. Good. We can't afford any weaknesses. Zarnak, any new insights on the enemy's movements? Zarnak, the alien defector, stepped forward. His unique perspective had already proven invaluable. Their reinforcements are en route. We have maybe a few days at most before they arrive. But there's a hidden base on the dark side of the nearby moon. If we strike there, we could disrupt their operations and buy ourselves more time. Samantha looked at James her eyes filled with resolve. It's a risk, but it could be our best shot. James considered the proposal. A preemptive strike could indeed tilt the balance in their favor. We'll need a small, skilled team for this mission. Ryan, select our best soldiers. Zarnak, you'll guide us. Preparations for the mission were swift and efficient. The selected team boarded a stealth ship, its sleek design optimized for infiltration. As they departed, James felt the weight of responsibility more acutely than ever. The future of Aegis rested on their success. The journey to the moon was tense but uneventful. The stealth ship evaded detection, allowing them to approach the alien base undetected. Once they landed, James led his team through the dark, rocky terrain. The moon's surface was cold and barren, adding to the sense of isolation. Stay alert and follow Zarnak's lead. James instructed. The team moved with practiced precision, each step calculated and silent. As they neared the base, the imposing structure came into view. Alien guards patrolled the perimeter, their movements precise and disciplined. Zarnak pointed out a hidden entrance. This way, it leads directly to their control center. The team infiltrated the base, encountering minimal resistance thanks to Zarnak's guidance. They swiftly disabled the security systems and moved deeper into the complex. The control center was their primary target, and James's objective was clear. Disrupt their operations and gather intelligence. Ryan, plant the charges around the mainframe, James ordered. We need to cripple their communications. Ryan and another soldier worked quickly, setting explosive charges with meticulous care. Meanwhile, James accessed the enemy's data downloading critical information onto a secure device. The seconds ticked by, each one filled with a mixture of anticipation and urgency. Just as they were about to leave, an alarm blared. They've detected us, Zarnak warned. We need to move now. James rallied his team. Fall back to the extraction point. Engage only if necessary. As they retreated, alien soldiers converged on their position. The corridors erupted in gunfire, the team expertly maneuvering to avoid being pinned down. James's leadership shone through as he directed their movements, ensuring they stayed one step ahead of their pursuers. At the extraction point, the stealth ship awaited. The team boarded swiftly, and the ship lifted off, 
narrowly escaping the alien forces. Explosions rocked the base below, the charges detonating and plunging the complex into chaos. Back on Aegis, the data they had retrieved provided invaluable insights into the enemy's plans. The mission, though fraught with danger, had been a success. They had not only disrupted the alien operations but also gained crucial intelligence that could help them prepare for the impending assault. As the team disembarked, Samantha greeted them, her relief evident. Well done, all of you. The information you've brought back could change everything. James handed the data device to Samantha. Analyze this and integrate it into our defenses. We've bought ourselves some time, but we need to use it wisely. Ryan, despite his exhaustion, approached James. Captain, we have injuries but no casualties. Everyone made it back. James clasped Ryan's shoulder. You did well, Lieutenant. Now get some rest. We'll need everyone at their best for what's coming. The team dispersed, each member aware of the challenges that lay ahead. James stood with Samantha, looking over the war room's bustling activity. We're making progress, Samantha said, but there's still so much to do. James nodded. We'll be ready. We have to be. Captain James Harrington stood in the war room, surveying the latest intelligence reports. The enemy's reinforcements were closer than anticipated. He could feel the weight of the impending battle pressing down on him, yet his resolve remained unshaken. Every decision he made now would determine the fate of Aegis. Captain, we've completed the fortifications, Samantha Rivera reported, her voice filled with determination. The colonists are ready. We've also integrated the new tactics based on the intel from our last mission. James nodded, appreciating her tireless efforts. Good work, Samantha. Ryan, what's the status of our fleet? Lieutenant Ryan Cole, standing tall despite his recent injuries, replied, All ships are prepped and fully armed. The crews are eager to defend our home. James addressed his team, his voice calm but authoritative. Today, we face our greatest challenge. The enemy is formidable, but we've trained hard and prepared for this moment. Remember, we fight for our families, our friends, and our future. The command center buzzed with focused energy as final preparations were made. The fleet moved into defensive positions around the planet, ready to intercept the alien armada. James took his place on the bridge of the lead warship, the same vessel that had seen them through the first skirmish. As the alien fleet appeared on the edge of the system, a hush fell over the command center. The screen displayed the vast number of enemy ships, each one a threat to their very existence. James activated the fleet-wide communication system. All units, this is Captain Harrington. Hold your positions and follow the battle plan. We will make our stand here and protect Aegis at all costs. The battle began with a fury. Laser fire and missiles lit up the space between the fleets, creating a deadly dance of destruction. James directed his warship with precision, engaging enemy vessels and coordinating with the rest of the fleet. The human ships fought bravely, but the sheer number of alien vessels began to take its toll. Captain, we're taking heavy fire on the starboard side, Ryan reported, his voice strained but controlled. Evasive maneuvers, James ordered. Focus on their central ships. We need to break their formation. As the battle raged on, Zarnak provided real-time intelligence, highlighting weak points in the enemy's defenses. Captain, if we can disable their command ship, we might disrupt their coordination. James saw the opportunity. Ryan, prepare the railgun. Target their command ship's reactor. The railgun fired sending a concentrated beam of energy towards the enemy's command ship. The impact was direct, causing a chain reaction that crippled the vessel. The alien fleet wavered, their formation breaking as they struggled to regroup. All units, press the advantage. James commanded, take out as many ships as you can while they're disorganized. The human fleet surged forward, their renewed vigor evident. They pressed the attack, destroying several more alien ships and forcing the rest into retreat. The tide of battle had turned, but the cost had been high. The wreckage of both human and alien ships littered the space around Aegis. As the enemy fleet retreated beyond the system's edge, a cheer erupted among the colonists. 
They had defended their home, but the reality of the losses weighed heavily on James. He knew the fight was far from over. The alien threat would return, stronger and more determined. James stood on the bridge, watching the retreating enemy vessels. We've won this battle, but the war is still ahead of us. We must remain vigilant and prepare for their return. Samantha approached, her expression both relieved and determined. Captain, we've proven we can stand against them. We'll be ready for whatever comes next. James nodded, his mind already planning the next steps. We need to repair our ships, strengthen our defenses, and train more pilots. We'll turn Aegis into an impenetrable fortress. The crew dispersed, each member aware of the work that lay ahead. James remained on the bridge, gazing out at the stars. The battle had tested them all, but it had also united them in a common purpose. They were no longer just a colony. They were a force to be reckoned with.